Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today we are in Seattle and we're gonna go find some beachers. Yeah, we're going to beachers for the second time because it was just that good. Come get lost with us. is the mac and cheese and we had this again down at the Pikes, Pikes Fish Place. Market yeah so you want to check that out up in the comments but uh, this stuff is banging is it just as good as you remember it <laughs> it's so rich and creamy um, there's just like it's definitely like one of the best mac and cheeses I've ever had it's really really good and the cheese is spectacular I can't say enough how good this stuff is um, if you're anywhere near here definitely worth a try it's got more of like a creamy cheese so they definitely make like a roux, roux and add the cheese to kind of like the roux and make the mac and cheese and it's just this fantastic so something we didn't try last time was the tomato soup so let's give it a try a lot of croutons in there Tasty tomato soup. Uh, it's really good. It kind of has that perfect balance of tomato with that perfect kind of like liquidiness to it. The cheese on top gives it a nice little piece, and then the crunchiness of the croutons, which are still kind of crunchy in there, really, really good. Now the last thing I'm gonna try is this flagship sandwich. I gotta be honest, this looks amazing. Oh. And these are all freshly made in house, like. Yeah, she makes a good point. So, legit tip, if you're ordering the cheese sandwiches, you have to wait about 15 minutes for them to make it. You can actually watch them make your cheese sandwich if you want to. Whew. I don't know if I want to eat this beauty. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. Her cheese is so amazing. Uh, it gives a nice little coolness with that tomato. And then the pesto in there. Gives it a nice little kick. Oh, well, let's try one more thing. We're gonna dip our sandwich in a little bit of tomato soup. Uh, that's what we wanted to do so bad last time, too. Mm. This is probably, for me at least, one of the best sandwich places I've ever been to by far. That was amazing. The soup is great, the sandwich is great. Putting them together, it's like a, it's like a party in your mouth that you want to be invited to. So let's see what Macy thinks about the food. All right, guys. Uh, so I am uber jealous. Gary got to start off this trifecta before I got a chance to try, but I already know this food's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to kick it off like he did with the mac and cheese, and like this food is just like it just smells good. So here we go. I don't even know if I would like put it on the level of mac and cheese. It's almost like an Alfredo. Yeah, yeah, I would almost put it in the category of like an Alfredo dinner. Like I would come here, get this and some garlic bread. I'd be set for life. They even have like a make your own mac and cheese kit. However, it has to be refrigerated. So maybe what I'll do is order it online and have it shipped to our house. Cause it's a lot to keep up with, with TSA and all that stuff. But I would love to try the mac and cheese make it home kit. So 10 out of 10 recommend mac and cheese. All right, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna eat off that side. I'll, I'll get my own half here. So we did not get to try the flagship last time. We just got a traditional grilled cheese. So this one is just gonna kind of take it up another notch. So I'm really excited to try this. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. The 
cheese is just spectacular. It's nice and crunchy on the outside. And uh, again, like I said, like everything is made in-house. They put these together, they grill them in there. Um, and it does take a few minutes, but it is worth the seven to 10 minute wait. Hands down. All right, next up, I'm gonna try the soup alone. I'll try the soup alone, give it my best go here. I'm gonna take it with some croutons and a little bit of cheese. Cheers. Here we go. Wow. That is a good, good tomato soup. It's not too much on the acidic side, a little bit salty. You got nice little chunks of tomatoes in here. It's almost like a tomato mist more than um, like a tomato soup. It's not too watery. All right, now for the piece de la resistance, the, uh, the dip, so we're gonna dip it in. Dip, dip, dip. All right, here we go, everybody. Cheers. Mm. How should we have? That was good. That's exactly how you should eat it. You should get a grilled cheese or a flagship, get a tomato soup, dip it in there, and then have your mac and cheese to top it all off. Like, this is a perfect meal right here. Mm. So, um, stick around, because we'll come get you guys with our final thoughts. And where's the best place in Seattle that you can actually get this without too much of a hassle? So stick around for our final thoughts. right next to Cafe Vita. And this is where it's located. It's a big old spacey space. Check out the ceilings. There's Nathan. And there's the only elevator right behind this pole right here. So if you're looking for it, it's right by the elevator. So one thing you need to keep in mind when you're coming to this location, we are in the Bellevue location in the mall. Um, you cannot get the mac and cheese with the salmon or the lobster because that is like a Pike's Place, Pike's Place specialty um, because you're right over there by the fish market. Um, over here, they just have the standard um, mac and cheese. However, they do have a lasagna. They have a cheese curd lasagna, which I'm kind of tempted to go over there and try as well, but maybe I'll save that for next time. But they do have unique things here that they don't have there. So they do try to kind of keep it a little bit different at every location. So keep that in mind when you're scoping out your beaches locations. All right, so that is going to wrap up our beaches trip. And it was just as good as the last time, even though we were at a different location. Yeah, definitely a recommend for us if you're in Seattle, one of the best places we've been to. Seattle food has been pretty much mediocre to bad at this point, but Beecher's is amazing. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to kind of get out of our comfort zone a little bit and try and find new restaurants. And this was one that we found last time. And I saw that there was a location that was not on Pike's Place, so I thought maybe it might be a little more accessible, um, a little easier to get to without having to pay for parking or have to deal with like large crowds. So we found this one in the Bellevue Mall. Yeah, this place is definitely worth it when it comes to going to Beecher's and testing out the cheese and stuff here. Really, really good. Um, so thing to note, um, as we mentioned earlier, that you you, if you're looking for the uh, more seafood mac and cheese, you're going to have to go to Pike's Place. But you can pretty much get your basic cheeses and your basic sandwiches and soups at this location. And the cool thing about this location is they are trying new things. Like there's a lasagna on the menu too that maybe we'll try next time we come back here, which looks fantastic because it's made with their cheese curds, which again, mm -hmm. legit tip, fantastic. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so that way you're notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come get you for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody. Bye.